This may come as a shock to you guys, but did you know that the Resident Evil Degeneration CG movie had a mobile game? What if I told you that the game played just like Resident Evil 4 and how it has mechanics like a merchant and roundhouse kicking? This game is insane. So today I am going to walk you through the entire game, break down every main chapter, and even talk about some of the game's secrets. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for future Resident Evil content and leave a like for more videos where I analyze Resident Evil games. And now for something completely different. Okay, so the game starts off with some context on how this outbreak started in the first place and how Resident Evil Degeneration takes place seven years after Raccoon City. And this game slash movie also takes place after Resident Evil 4. So Leon arrives at the airport and gets a call from his best friend Hunnigan. She guides him through the area until he runs into his first set of zombies. Then as Leon is about to get snuck up, oh my lordy, my boy just roundhouse kicked him? Resident Evil 4 style? So yeah, this game has the same mechanics as Resident Evil 4. You can stun an enemy and then run up to them and roundhouse kick them. Something only Leon can do. You may also notice that the items that you can pick up look very similar. We have handgun ammo, herbs, and the usual Resident Evil stuff that you can find. And believe it or not, the game even has quick time events. I am not joking, a mobile game has quick time events. So Leon makes his way past the falling roof and then he meets up with a merchant. No, not that merchant, this merchant. Just like the one from Resident Evil 4, you can buy and sell things here, which is pretty neat because because I think the merchant mechanics are always pretty cool. Okay, so as we make it to the next area, Oh, oh, well, you might be wondering why the gameplay looks different. This is because the game was also on the N-Gage 2.0 mobile device, but the footage you are seeing now takes place on an iOS device. So the rest of this video is going to feature the iOS version because the graphics are much better than the N-Gage console. All right, so Leon takes on a few zombies and then he makes his way through the area. He then runs into a soldier who claims to have run into something that didn't it look like an average zombie. Ooh, spooky. But we'll get to that enemy later on in the video. The soldier then gives Leon a shotgun and we must make our way to the next area. As we make our way underground, we finally- Oh, what the freak? Leon, run! Okay, so ironically enough, they even copy and pasted Leon's death sound from Resident Evil 4. <laughs> And you can even hear the guard door sound effect. Okay, Resident Evil Degeneration, that's pretty funny. Leon continues making his way through the area until he runs into this random woman. And she claims that something with big claws started chasing them. Hmm, I wonder what she's talking about. After taking down a few more zombies, we finally run into... Claire! Both question why they are even here in the first place. They move to the next area and run into a group of survivors. One of them needs medical assistance, so Leon offers to go by himself, because Leon claims that the area is way too dangerous, and he's not wrong. As he's searching for supplies, we finally run into the giant tyrant. Leon prepares himself as he must take on the creature. After a very long and intense battle, Leon finally takes down the creature for good. Or did he? Dun dun dun. We take the supplies back to the survivors and then everything is okay. Well, at least we think. We make our way up until we run into a bunch of infected soldiers. Leon takes them down and then runs into Scooby-Doo. <laughs> you guys have every right to yell at me in the comment section for doing that. Leon finally runs into another human soldier. They have a little chit chat and then we get a Resident Evil 4 cabin style sequence where we have to defend the area from zombies. And I really like this part of the game. It's a nice little callback to Resident Evil 4 where you're fighting off Ganados with Lewis. We make our way into the next area, fight some firefighter zombies, some more Scooby-Doo's, and then we end up in a plane with a bunch of cargo. Hunnigan warns us that the plane could take off at any moment, so Leon must hurry up and find the pressure control panel. After jumping down a ladder, we run into another tyrant. Leon does what he does best, and well... Oh. 
just like that. After taking down the tyrant, Leon needs to rush his way back to the control room so that he can take off the plane's autopilot so that the planes don't take off and the survivors have no way of escaping. We then get a FaceTime call from Hunnigan and then, oh boy, another one? After doing some flashy QuickTime events, Leon successfully makes it to the final stretch of the game. This fight is about to get intense. This is Leon's biggest challenge yet. Guys, you are not ready for what's about to happen as Leon struggles to fight his way through. Oh, well, that was easy. Just like that? Huh, well, okay. After the tyrant gets sucked into the propeller, we then meet up with the rest of the survivors. We find our homie Claire, and then we successfully escape the area. The credits roll, and we all shed tears for this beautifully emotional story. Honestly, this mobile game isn't that bad. Sure, some may say that it's a ripoff of Resident Evil 4, but it's still a ton of fun to play and it brings back a lot of nostalgia. But thank you all so much for watching and until next time.